Hi, I'm Kevin Stenzel, owner of Artistic Creations in South Floyd, Illinois, and today I'd like to show you how we create one of our award-winning musky replicas. The fish I have chosen to work on today is special to me because it happens to be a reproduction of my own personal best musky I caught this last summer. We're starting out with the head detached just so I can show you some of the advantages of the more modern day replicas that are available. First being cast gills rather than cardboard, pipe cleaners, any one of a number of things I've seen used throughout the years. These are cast from the actual fish and give you the most realistic uh, product available. Another advantage is the thin translucent fins. Somewhat flexible, nice thin in appearance, very natural looking, looking fin. The next thing is the head. If you have your open mouth flared gills, that's really the focal point. It's what people look at. The teeth are cast from the actual from an actual fish, as opposed to going in there with epoxy and a toothpick, something like that, and creating what halfway looks like a tooth. These are the real thing. It doesn't get any more natural than. Another option with the musky is the closed mouth, which have been pretty popular lately. A lot of people find these to be a little more artistic, perhaps. You can create a beautiful underwater scene with a little habitat. The fish is just in a natural swimming position. Now it's time to start doing some painting. We're going to start by completely blacking out our fish. Then we go over our whole fish with steel wool. This defines a lot of the detail in the fish. come back with a little more black along the back and white along the belly to give us a nice smooth transition between light and dark. Now just finished up the white on the belly and the black along the back. Now we have that nice smooth transition between light and dark. The next thing we're going to do is apply some pearls. I'm going to put a gold pearl along the back and a silver pearl along the belly. And that does it for the silver pearl along the belly. I like to paint in layers, which is applying transparent colors one over another, which gives the paint job depth and makes it look more realistic. So we start out with a transparent yellow. The next color I'm going to apply then is a bronze gold over top of the yellow. Heavier on the back and lighter as I go down. Very important to have good reference material. Being a musky fisherman myself, over the years I've accumulated hundreds of photos of various strains of muskies and different color variations. So now we start applying our bars. I go very lightly at first and then come back and highlight the individual scales.
like to do then is apply some metallics according to your reference. I start with gold along the back and hit most the tips of most of the scales. This is a time consuming process, but I think the results are well worth it in the end. The very last step then is applying a gloss. I'm using a two part polyurethane. So here's our finished musky. Keep in mind that this was a several hour process that I condensed into this short video. I certainly hope you've enjoyed it.